Greetings. Today is Sunday, September 8, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 5.45 p.m. local time in Louisiana, Texas, and Tamaulipas, where they are closely monitoring the imminent development of Tropical Storm Francine. This system is currently located over the Bay of Campeche and is projected to move parallel to the coast of Tamaulipas and Texas, eventually reaching Louisiana by Wednesday afternoon or evening. At 5 p.m., the National Hurricane Center designated this area as potential cyclone number 6 of the season, which has prompted a tropical storm watch for Tamaulipas. We also now have the first official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, which we will explain in this video. Before continuing to talk about the future tropical storm Francine, I wanted to mention that we are also monitoring two disturbances in the tropical Atlantic. Later today, I will be recording a video to discuss their future trajectory and how close they could come to the Caribbean region. Let's zoom in on the infrared satellite image. Here we can see that potential cyclone number 6 continues to show signs of strengthening, and it is highly likely that within the next 12 hours, we will have tropical storm Francine. The specialized trajectory models continue to project a northwestward movement over the next 48 hours, and by Tuesday, it should begin to move toward the north-northeast, eventually approaching the Texas-Louisiana border. There is still some uncertainty, and it is important for residents from Houston to Louisiana to stay alert to the evolution of this future cyclone. Here we have the official trajectory from the National Hurricane Center. You can see that it is projected to continue its north-northwest movement parallel to Tamaulipas at least until Tuesday afternoon. A tropical storm watch has been issued as some tropical storm force wind gusts are expected in coastal areas of Tamaulipas. Then, the National Hurricane Center projects that it will turn north-northeast, eventually making landfall in eastern Texas or southwestern Louisiana as a Category 1 hurricane by Wednesday afternoon. However, this could change in the coming days, as new projections show it could strengthen into a Category 2 hurricane. After that, between Thursday and Friday, the remnants will move across parts of Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, and Kentucky, with a high risk of flooding along the storm's path. What concerns us is that conditions could be favorable for rapid strengthening just before it makes landfall in the United States. First, sea surface temperatures along the future path of Tropical Storm Francine are extremely warm. Additionally, as it approaches the Louisiana and Texas coast, upper-level winds may create excellent ventilation toward the northeast of the circulation, which can sometimes result in rapid intensification just before landfall. However, a very important factor we will be watching over the coming days is dry air descending from Texas. With a bit of luck, this dry air could infiltrate the circulation of future Hurricane Francine and potentially limit its strengthening. However, if this future cyclone manages to develop a compact center and keeps the dry air out of its circulation, we could be looking at a hurricane strengthening as it approaches Louisiana. In fact, that has been the trend in global models. For example, the latest projection from the GFS model shows a Category 2 hurricane making landfall in southern Louisiana on Wednesday night. The same is projected by the European model, which also has a Category 2 hurricane making landfall in southern Louisiana on Wednesday night. Let's now talk about the expected effects across Tamaulipas, Texas, and Louisiana. Let's start by looking at the wind gusts expected over the next 48 hours, which will affect coastal areas of Tamaulipas. However, we're talking about maximum gusts of between 60 and 70 km per hour, which should not cause major issues in the Tamaulipas region. The outlook is different for eastern Texas and Louisiana, where, depending on the center of circulation's landfall, some areas could experience hurricane force winds. In the latest projections from both the American and European models, the strongest winds could affect southern Louisiana, with gusts between 80 and 110 miles per hour, primarily impacting coastal areas. Then, as the circulation moves north, tropical storm force winds could affect Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee. So, keep that in mind if you live inland, as you may experience some indirect effects from the remnants of future Hurricane Francine. More concerning than the wind is the rain. In Tamaulipas, between 75 and 100 millimeters of accumulated rainfall is expected, with the highest totals remaining over the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. However, models project that for Louisiana and southern Mississippi, rainfall could range from 4 to 6 inches in some places, with totals exceeding 14 inches. This could result in a significant flooding event. So keep that in mind, as you complete your preparations for this future cyclone. Additionally, inland areas of Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Alabama are expected to receive between 2 and 5 inches of rain between Thursday and Saturday. Well, that's it for this forecast update. Stay tuned to Hurricane Info for more updates. The next video will be recorded tomorrow. And to make sure you don't miss any of the videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video and click the red button that says subscribe. Then, click the bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. With that, I'll say goodbye for now. Until next time.